Hey there! It's Alex from RDP Arena. In this video, I'll be showing you, 7 simple steps to transfer files, larger than 2 GB, from your local machine, to your RDP. All you'll need, is the FileZilla client app on your local machine, and FileZilla server app on your RDP. Don't worry, you don't need to be a tech wizard to follow along, I will explain everything, in an easy to understand manner. So come on over, and let's dive right in. Step number 1, open your browser, and visit FileZilla's official website, to download the FileZilla server application. Click on Download FileZilla Server. Now click on the Download button under the first column. The file will be saved in your browser's default download directory. In our case, it's going to be saved on the desktop. For your convenience, we have added the official download link, in the description below. Step number 2, right-click on the downloaded file, and select, Run as Administrator, to install the application. Click on I agree, to accept the terms. Click on Next. If you want to install the application in a different folder, click on Browse to select your folder, else leave it as it is. In our case, we will proceed with the default directory. Click on Next. Click on Next. Click on Next. Type a password that you want to set for administration purposes. Please make sure to note down this password. Click on Next. Click on Install. Once the installation is done, you will get a pop-up asking you to take note of the SHA-256 certificate fingerprint. Click on OK. Now click on Close. The FileZilla server administration interface will pop up. Click on Connect to Server. Enter the password you added in the previous step. Put a check on the option Save the password and automatically connect to the server at startup. Click on OK. In case you get a pop-up, asking you if you trust this server, just click on Yes. Step number 3, create a user account, by going to the server menu, and selecting the configure option. Select users from the left hand side. On the right hand side, click on add, and then type the username. Enter the password, that you want to set for this username. In the mount points section, click on add to select the folder, where you want to transfer your files. In our case, we will select the FZ folder, in C drive. Click on the address bar, and then right click, to copy the path. Now paste the path, in the native path column, and in the virtual path column, type a forward slash. Make sure read plus write is selected in the access mode. Click on OK. This will set the directory where you will land, when you connect to this FTP server, with your FileZilla FTP client, on your local desktop. Step number 4, click on the search icon, and type administrative tools. Select the administrative tools option from the menu. Double click on, Windows Firewall, with advanced security. Select inbound rules from the left hand side and then on the right-hand side, click on New Rule. Make sure the program is selected, and then click on Next. Now click on Browse. Select FileZillaServer.exe, from the installation directory, and click on Open. Click on Next. Make sure, Allow the Connection option is selected, and then click on Next. Confirm that the domain, private, and public options, have a check mark in front of them, and then click on next. Now type FTP server, as the name of the rule, so that we can track it easily in the list of rules. Click on finish. With this exception now added, Windows Firewall, won't block incoming connections, from your local machine, to the FileZilla FTP server. 
Step number 5, open the browser on your local PC, and visit FileZilla's official website, to download the client application. Click on Download FileZilla Client. Now, click on the Download button, under the first column. The file will be saved in your browser's default download directory. In our case, it's going to be saved on the desktop. For your convenience, we have added the official download link, in the description below. Step number 6, right-click on the downloaded file, and select, Run as Administrator, to install the application. Click on I agree, to accept the terms. Click on Decline, to reject any additional software installation, and then click on Next. Click on Next. Click on Next. If you want to change the installation directory, click on Browse, to select a location of your choice, else leave it as it is. In our case, we will proceed with the default selection. Click on Next. Click on Install, and wait for the installation to complete. Once done, click Finish. Step number 7, open the FileZilla client app. Click on Host, to enter your RDP's IP address. Enter the username and password, that you had set, in your FileZilla FTP server. Leave the port blank, and click on Quick Connect. Once you're connected to the server, select the file that's above 2 GB, from the left-hand window. Now right-click on it, and select Upload. This will start the upload process, and you will be able to see the progress, in the lower section. The speed will depend on your internet connection, and your proximity to your RDP server's location. That's it! If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a like, subscribing to our channel, and hitting the bell icon, for future notifications. In case you have any questions, or need further assistance, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. We'll make sure to do our best to help you out.